Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we will talk about with Laravel translatable package which can be used for translating your columns without needing extra tables. Now let's start and install it and as we can see here in the official documentation for Spotty and I will install it using a composer or project and here I will paste it. Then to use it in our product model for example it has a trait called has translation here and we must define the translatable columns like this public translatable and we will specify the columns for example here I will translate the product name and it must be JSON if your database doesn't support JSON you can use text data type this one Right, and I will call it name to translate the product name to English and Turkish, for example. And I will define my name here. And let's migrate our table. It's migrated back and refresh. We have here products, and the name column is JSON. Now let's back and create a new product. I will say product create, and because the name is JSON, I will create it as array. So here, name the key will be the language, for example, English will be phone, and Turkish will be telephone, and the price here, for example, will be 10,000 as an example. Let's back and refresh. I get this error, I mustn't find the translatable inside our product. I think I have a table error here. Back and refresh again. And here our product has been created successfully. As we can see, the name phone in English and in Turkish. Now let's display the name product first name. Back and refresh. I will say return. As we can see, it's phone. If I change my app locally, app locally to Turkish, for example, refresh, it returns telephone. It works dynamically according to our app language, right? If you want to neglect a translation, we can use forget translation method like this, forget translation, and specify the column. Then it specifies the language. For example, I don't want to use English in my response back and refresh. As we can see, the Turkish translation only has been display. Also, if you want to replace a translation temporary, not in the database, we can use replace translation method translations, and we can specify our key or column. And in second parameter, we can have the replaced translation for English. It will be ing. As an example, Turkish here, it will be Turkish like this, back and refresh. And as we can see, it's replaced in the response, but in the database, it works correctly. If you want to update it in the database, we can say update in the Laravel normal update here. And I will set name for name here. And as we can see, array refresh works correctly back to our database. As we can see here, it's changed successfully. If you want to query on the translated column, we can use where JSON like we learned in the previous video like this where here name in English for example equal to ENG and we can say get back and refresh it works here if we change it to random it will not work if you want to get only the name or the products that have name in English or a specific language we can use where locally or where locally it's this one and it takes two parameter the name column or the column and the locally what we want. So if I back and refresh, I will change it to EN because it's specified to the key. Refresh works if I duplicate it, for example, and the second one will have only Turkish translation. Refresh, it will return only one result because the second one doesn't contain the English translation. If I change it to TR, it will return two results, as we can see. If you want to return multiple localities, we can say here English or Turkish like this. Fresh, same result. 
So here's what you have to use the Laravel Translatable Package by Spate. If you find it useful, support the main by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you next videos.